nestled serenely in blankets of green. There in the forest was Grandmother's cabin. Inside, children giggled and rustled about while Grandma drank gin with the mint in her mouth. Mint goes with gin, she shouts from her chair. Two children ran by and she tussled their hair. Then just like every year, they took turns on her lap just before Grandma laid back for her nap. And like every year before, she gave out one last shout. You can eat all my cookies, but of my candies, keep out. Grandma would share with them warm pecan sandies, but keep to herself the chin-masking candies. That made the children angry and hopeless and sad. But why wouldn't she share? Had they been bad? Did Grandfather hang because of their follies? Don't they deserve to be merry and jolly? Spying them nervously, she lay back for her nap. The minty temptations secure in her lap. But Grandma did not know this rest would be her final. There in her chair, that was draped in clear vinyl. With one last breath, she loosened her grip, and out of her clutch, the peppermint slipped. But to the children's surprise, she did not arise. She merely lay there, the look of rot in her eyes. No sugar plum fairies danced on her head. Soon would come maggots and flies in their stead. With peppermints there, on her lap unattended, the children then knew they were not well defended. So they grabbed up the candies and gobbled with glee, ignoring the gifts beneath the gin-scented tree. <laughs>